Hey, friends all over the world. I want to tell you a shocking revelation. And I really hope you'll, you'll get this because what I'm about to share with you is so sensitive. This is what some would kill to keep hidden. You know, people kill for secrets. People kill for secrets. And this is the shocking revelation that I have discovered because I was asking all kinds of questions and I was I had all kinds of question marks and I was, you know, pondering all kinds of things, why certain things were happening. Now, if you've been pondering why certain things have been happening, you need to listen to this message because this is going to help you understand and this is going to explain a lot. It's going to explain a lot of what's been going on with you lately and why things have been playing out the way that they are and why, why things are moving the way that they are. Please hear this. Please understand. The shocking revelation that they are willing to kill for. It's so, if it got out the way it's going to get out now, it would dismantle everything. Are you listening to what I'm saying? And here it is. We are in this particular season where there's so much going on and many of you have faced so many things. And here's the truth. It's very simple, but shocking. The truth is that you were not supposed to make it this far. It hit my spirit today. You were not supposed to make it this far. You weren't supposed to make it this far. So this is why the enemy's throwing everything he can at you. He's coming at you from every angle. Because he's desperate. <clears throat> he's desperate. He doesn't have a dog in the fight. Listen, if he could have, he would have killed you a long time ago. And you should have been dead a long time ago. What you've gone through at different seasons in your life should have taken you out. Corona should have killed you. The pandemic should have killed you. Mental illness should have killed you. That traumatic experience should have killed you. That relationship should have killed you. That sickness should have killed you. But it didn't. It didn't kill you. See? And, and, and the demons that have been assigned to your life don't want you to know that they can't kill you. Oh, my God. I don't know who this is for. They can't kill you if they wanted to. Because they do want to and they can't. You weren't even supposed to make it this far. So here you are ready to give up. And here you are saying, God, where are you? And here you are saying, God, why? And here you are saying, Lord, I don't understand. And, and you don't even realize that your foot is already in the promised land. You've already crossed a threshold. You, you have a reason to rejoice. Why? Because you've already crossed over. You've already crossed over. See, one of the things that the devil tries to get people to do is to forget where they are. That's why you need to make sure your location services are turned on. I don't mean naturally. I don't mean I'm not talking about your iPhone, but I'm talking about you need to be able to locate yourself in the plan of God for your life. And you need to be able to recognize, you know what? I'm in the will of God right now. I know it feels heavy. <clears throat> I know it feels heavy. But you need to know that you are in God's will. Not only that, but that you've already overcome. The Bible says in 1 John, I believe it's 1 John 4. It says, little children, you've already overcome him because greater 
is he who is in you than he that is in the world. The devil doesn't want you to know this. He doesn't want you to have a revelation. He doesn't. He doesn't want you to have this revelation. He wants you to fight from a place of defeat. He wants you to be bitter. He wants you to be angry. He wants you to be disappointed. He wants you to be hurt. He wants you to feel like God's not with you. He wants you to feel like things are getting worse. But the reality is they're not getting worse. The reason why the warfare is heavy is because the devil's throwing everything he has. And this is all he has. This is all he has. He doesn't have anything else because you've already overcome. You've already come out. You just don't know it yet. You just didn't know yet. But you've already come out of this. You should have been dead by now. The fact that you're still standing means that the devil can't kill you. The fact that you're not checked into an asylum now is evidence that the devil has done all he can do. And what you need to do is you need to rejoice. What you need to do, you need to step into faith and you need to begin to thank God in advance for everything going on in your life right now because you have already overcome. You already have the victory. That's why you're going through this. That's why you've been under attack. That's why you've been tempted. That's why you've been agitated. That's why the enemy's tried to discourage you because you've already won. He wants you to forfeit your victory. But friends, I'm here to tell you today, you will not forfeit you will not slip. You will not cower under pressure. But you will see the manifestation of the glory of God. Please share this video.